this video, we're going to talk about site-to-site -site interaction as it relates to feature lines. So when we created these feature lines, what we did is we put them on the none site. And the reason we did that is we didn't want them interacting with any other objects inside of Civil 3D. We wanted them to be contained within themselves and not have any new elevations defined on them based on other objects inside of a different site. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to zoom in on this feature line that we have currently. I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to move it to a site. And if I move it to the development site, what we're going to see happen is that if I select that feature line again and I go to the elevation editor, we are now going to have two new elevation points that are associated with an object that is in the development site. So if I zoom in to around the station where this is, which is 83.07, I know that that's associated with this parcel line interaction with that feature line, and you'll see this gray triangle. That's this object right here that I have selected. And what you'll see is I can't edit anything about this because it's pulling information on this. That elevation is being pulled from the interaction of that line on to our feature line based on these two elevation points. It's assigning an elevation at that location. So I can't actually change the elevation of this point or the station of that point. Same thing with the next one as I move down further, right here where this parcel intersects our feature line, I have another new grayed out elevation that I can't change except for if I was to change the grading between the two points. So between this point over here and that point over there. Now, if I was to go ahead and migrate this back to the none site, what you'll see is those two gray points will disappear. So I'll go in here, I'll go to Elevation Editor, and you will see as I scroll up and down, those gray points no longer exist on my feature line. Now, if I was to take a new feature line that I'm gonna create and drape it across this, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take this feature line we are going to put it on a the survey site. So I'm gonna to move to site because what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna have a new feature line that I create having a negative effect on any of the properties that I have on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it on the survey site. I'm gonna move this feature line to the survey site. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new feature line on the survey site. And I'm going to hit okay. And I'm gonna place it here and I'm gonna assign an arbitrary elevation of 200. And then I'm gonna place a line here and I'm going to assign an arbitrary elevation of 150. And then I'm gonna hit enter to get out of that. And so with this feature line, what you'll see when I go to elevation editor is that I have a midpoint here or a point where this feature line crosses that feature line and it has an elevation of 244.746. Now, that elevation is being assigned based on the gradient between these two objects here. And if I go in and I look at this feature line that's here, if I go to the elevation editor, what you're gonna see now is that because I added this new feature line in, it effectively created a new elevation point right here that is grading between that point to this point, and then from this point to that point. So I now have a new elevation point at 244,746 because of that feature line that I just added. Now, if I went ahead and I moved this back to the none site, what I'm gonna have happen now is I'm gonna go to my elevation editor and that extra elevation point is gone now. I have 190 to 190 and no point in between. Same thing with this feature line. If I go look at the elevation editor, I have the two points with no point in between. 